We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Minnesota Twins and the New York Yankees. Into the box, Luis Arias. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Lifted down the line and left. In there, a base hit. Into the box now, Jorge Polanco. Hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Stanton giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He went deep in the contest last night. The 1 1 pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Now a long throw to third. But too late, and he's safe at third. Stepping in now, Miguel Sano. High and wide, two balls and a strike. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a one nothing lead. That is fifth. The third baseman, number 24. In now, Josh Donaldson. Donaldson. Now it's swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Cole has pitched north of 1,200 innings in the majors and logged in with an ERA in the low three. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Now another one-two. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Well, the lead runner holds on, but the trailer will take second. Now at the plate, Mitch Garver. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Three and one to him now. The three and one pitch. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 home. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. Here's the 1 1. Cruz on third, Sano on second, Garver at first, two out in the inning. And he fouls this one off. The set and the one two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner is there. And they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch, so just the one run scores here in the frame. Giovanni Urshela. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1 1 home. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. At the plate, Miguel Andujar. To two balls and two strikes now. This guy uses that two-seamer to set up his other pitches. Two-seamer in, breaking ball away. Got him. A slurve that time, and that'll be the first out of the inning. 
Now at the plate, D.J. LeMay here. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. The 1-1 one -one is in there for the second strike. I got to count one and two. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. And there are two away now. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Lifetime against Jose Barrios. He's got a three for five line. Ready with the one and one. Two and one as he misses with the slurve there. Too high that time, and it's three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. High in the air out towards shallow right. Cruz is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Now the 2 1. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2 2. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count 3 2. And that misses for ball four. So, it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. So, that'll bring in Byron Buxton. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Buxton ahead in the count. Three balls and a strike. This one's down to third. LeMayhew for one. Devoit in time for the double play. Now to the plate, Luis Arias. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Two out, nobody on. Two and one now to the Twins' leadoff man. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that is off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The batter, number 11, Jorge Polanco. So now to the plate, Jorge Polanco. All even now, two and two. Even at two and two. The pitch lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Two and two. Here it is. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike. And the inning is over. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. First at-bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. The three-one. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Team Carlos Stanton now. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Now the one and one pitch. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. Two balls and two strikes now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Luke Boyd. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. The 2-2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. In now, Gary Sanchez. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. A runner on first with two away. 
And another foul ball. Here's another one two. And a good pitch here but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. Oh got him looking at the two seamer and that'll end it. The next twin up Nelson Cruz he singled his last time up. The one one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Judge is under it. Makes the play one away. Stepping in, Miguel Sano looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Yeah, and he's got to feel super confident right now. He's the only real offense in this game. Guys on the mound have been executing every pitch. Two and two the count. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Twins DH. And he loses him on a breaking ball. So digging in now, Josh Donaldson looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. One ball and two strikes to count. Got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Standing in, Mitch Garver. He drew a walk his first time up. The 1-1. Swung on and missed for strike number two. For the current campaign, Garver begins play with a slugging percentage north of 525. Certainly a line he can take pride in. Just a bit high with the ball, but didn't get the call. Hit high and deep out to left. Back goes Stanton. And it's gone. To the plate now, Eddie Rosario. He's fallen behind now, three and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Now batting. Striding in, base. Max Kepler. Max Kepler. Still one and two as he fouls it away. That was a nasty pitcher's pitch right there. Most guys strike out on that one. He was able to scramble out a little bit and give him another chance. And hopefully this pitcher misses over the heart of the plate. Count even at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. And it's fouled away. Two out with the man at first. Popped him up. Sanchez shading to his right and the inning is over. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner who's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Hey we're still in the early stages in this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big yeah. inning started and he set down one away now digging in now Gio Urshela he reached on a single in his first try yeah guys still the only hit in this game so far they've been pretty well shut down guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point so he froze him for the strikeout Gio Urshela becomes out number two this inning this is line to left Rosario is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Here's Byron Buxton now as we begin the top of the fourth. One of the keys to securing a win they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. One, ball, One and two. two
swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. The batter digging in, Luis Arias. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And that is down as that could be two bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Up next for Minnesota, the shortstop, Jorge. At the plate now, Jorge Polanco. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. Up next for the Twins. Here's Nelson Cruz now. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. But facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Cruz is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. Three runs, six hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. He'll lead it off here against Jose Barrios. Hit to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Here's big Aaron Judge. Ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. And it misses. Three and one now. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. There's ball four. So a runner on first with one out now. And that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. A ball and two strikes. off runner at first year one man out again another foul ball hit hard towards center and that'll get down for a base hit Into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. Slur doesn't get the call, and it's full now. Three and two. Shoots this one over to first. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Into the box now, Luke Boyd. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Boyd begins play with a slugging percentage north of 525. Certainly a line he can take pride in. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Luke Voigt goes down for out number two in the bottom half. And there's ball two now. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be tomorrow. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. High and wide. Two balls and a strike. 
a couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. LeMayhew's got it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. They're ready to take his hacks again. Mitch Garver, as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Going back to that last AB, that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off speed pitches. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Coming to the plate now, Eddie Rosario. It was a walk in his last trip. Three runs, six hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Now at the plate, Brett Gardner comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 1 1 home. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. And it's fouled away. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead it's a long foul ball. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Polanco backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Digging in now for the Yankees, Gio Urshela. He's one for two in the ball game. Here it comes on one and one. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Arias ranges back and he has it for route number two. Now it. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he missed with the slurve, so it goes to two and one. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Back goes Rosario at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Your Jay Happ takes over to start now the sixth inning on the mound. Number 33, Jay up next for Minnesota, Max Kepler. He's set to lead it off in the Minnesota end of the sixth. The 1-1. One, one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Gone to lead off the inning. Standing in now, Byron Buxton. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. The 3 2 one more time. High pop up. And Duhar is there and he's got it for the first out. Now back to the now top of the lineup. Stepping big. in, Luis Arias. Three hits, oh, including right. a pair of doubles for him thus far. The 2 1. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. The bat a little left. Good time. Jorge. Stepping in now, Jorge Polanco. Now a flare out toward right center. In comes Judge. He can't get to it. This one's down. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. The bat. The right field. Nothing. 
to the plate now. Nelson Cruz. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Hard on the ground towards short. And that's through a base hit. And they'll add another as this is now a 5 nothing game. Now that designated hitter, Miguel. At the plate, Miguel Sano. One and two now. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Three and two, full count. Payoff pitch on its way. Hit sharply on the ground. The second for one on to Voigt, an inning ending double play. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. The 2 2. Back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. The right fielder, number so now to the plate, Aaron Judge. And they'll back him off a bit with a fastball in, but it's three and one now. Fouled off. Fly ball out toward right field. There to take it is Cruz, and that's the first out. Next for New York, Torres. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Runners on first with one down. And he misses two and one. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Here now the 2-2 is looked at and the count moves full. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. From the belt. Kicks and deals. Takes this the other way to right. And that falls in for a solid base hit. His second of the night. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that. And now, Giancarlo Stanton. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Cruz is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Striding forward now. Luke Voigt. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Tapped out in front of home. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. Ben Heller is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 61. New inning set to get underway. Josh Donaldson digging in now. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. Fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Gardner is right there, one down. 
Stepping into the box, Mitch Garver. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And there's out number two. Standing in, Eddie Rosario. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Two out, nobody on. Hits this one hard the other way, but that finds its way through for a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now that the first baseman, Standing in now, Max Kepler. A two ball, one strike count to the Twins' first baseman. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. And he fouls this one off. Another try at 2 2. In the air to center field and deep back is the center fielder. Back he goes, but this is going to be a home run. Into the box now, Byron Buxton. Three balls and two strikes to the twin center fielder. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Now this one's crushed. Left field line, and it's a foul ball. Oh, that's frustrating right there. He was right on that fastball, took it deep, just couldn't keep it fair. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Gary Sanchez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Rosario is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. The center fielder. Striding in once again, Brett Gardner. He flew out in his last at bat. And that's going to be high two and two now. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. Three and two to the Yankees center fielder. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So. When you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. Ground ball right side. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Gio Urshela. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first, but this will land untouched. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Chad Green enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. All set for the start of the inning. Standing in a perfect four for four so far, Luis Arias. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five hit performance here. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Digging in the switch hitter, Jorge Polanco. Last time through was a base hit. Now the one and one pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? 
Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Following next is Nelson Cruz. He waits on deck. Lifted the other way out to left center. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Now batting. Settling in now, Nelson Cruz is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. The 1 1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. Nasty downward action. High 80s velocity. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The one two is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Yuri Garrett is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 38. Bottom of the inning now. Here's Miguel Andohar now. He's hitless in three at bats to this point starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally the 2 2 now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left Garen was known as a short relief specialist a guy who came in got one or two big outs but with the new pace of play rules they're forcing a change for this right hander and there's one down now. now Stepping up now, DJ LeMayhew. He's DJ. working on a one for three Ron thus far. Mayhew. The one two. Bases are empty, one man out. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Aaron Judge will be next. On a line, that's a base hit. At the plate now, Aaron Judge. Two and one. Runner at first here, one man out. Won't go after the 2 1 sinker, and it's three balls in a strike now. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. 3 1 pitch is a slider, and he can't pull the trigger. It's 3 and 2 now. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. And he lays now off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton looking to cut into that big deficit they've got in front of them. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that, that time. Two away. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. two out, bases loaded. Hit on the ground to third. Donaldson's up with it, and eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Miguel Sano. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Line hard toward right center. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. The third baseman, number 24, Josh Donaldson. 
at the plate Josh Donaldson very high two and one that's a good take on a fastball out of the zone hey I get it he's looking for a ball to drive but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone that's one you normally pop right up three and one to him now hitters count all the way here it comes comes back with a good slider there and it's full three and two. That misses. So a single and a walk. And it's first and second with nobody out. Now at the plate, Mitch Garver. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. That's what you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. And he indeed takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. So stepping in, Eddie Rosario. He came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at-bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. The count now at 2-1. and one. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Racing back, the right fielder. Tommy Kingley comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. To the plate now, Max Kepler, left side. Enduhar fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, will get him, score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. set here comes the 1 1 popped him up Voigt in foul ground and that ends the inning Taylor Rogers comes on to work now and he's their usual closer but this is obviously not a save opportunity yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. Here's Brett Gardner now. Brett Gardner. 2-1 home now to Gardner. Sinker gets the outside for a strike. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. The 2-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Last chance for the Yankees. Right side. Scooped up. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Ten to nothing, the final shutout score in this one. The Twins jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Jose Barrios wins his third of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Twins. Ten runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Yankees, no runs. Six hits. No errors. They left ten men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 13 minutes.
our paid attendance here tonight at Yankee Stadium, 47,309. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.